Higher Education Minister Datuk Seri Dr. Zamri Abdul Qadir said the ministry will not pursue further action against U.S. academician Bruce Gilley over his controversial remarks. Zambri said, despite the incident, tertiary institutions will not need to refer to the ministry if they want to invite international speakers. He said the institution's freedom must be respected, but it is imperative that thorough background checks are conducted. Ya, dalam dunia akademik, kita tahu bahawa masing-masing mempunyai kepakaran yang perlu kita bawa. Tapi saya peringatkan tadi lagi, biarlah bawa yang benar-benar mempunyai nilai kesarjanaan. Even sekarang, saya tengok US, US Embassy TV pun, pun tidak, tidak selesa dengan kenyataan yang dikeluarkan oleh beliau. Sebab, for example, today, yeah, US Embassy datang, US Embassy reaffirm that Malaysia is still safe to travel. He said this after attending the ministry's Hari Raya open house on Friday. During his lecture at University Malaya on Tuesday, Gilly, who is a political science lecturer at Portland State University, claimed that Malaysia had pushed for a second holocaust against the Jewish people. He said he had left Malaysia after the lecture and removed his post on X about his holocaust remark for the safety of his colleagues at the university, he said the remark reflected his views alone and regretted the harm that might have caused to the university. Before leaving, he claimed that Malaysia is currently not a safe country to travel to. Dismissing Gilly's claims, the U.S. Embassy said there is no change to the U.S. travel advisory, which remains at level one, the lowest level out of four. On Thursday, University Malaya apologized over the incident, saying that it had cancelled all programs involving Gili and it will revise policies and guidelines on the management of events. They said they are preparing a report on the incident as requested by the ministry.